So what's the what have you learned so far? Yeah. And uh, inform or uh, inform that what you are doing, and how much I will ask how much amount of uh, mm -hmm. sweat you have taken. You have sufficient diarrhea or not? So it, it gives you an idea of. Yeah, but what have you learned so far from the course? So yes, I learned uh, from the course uh, that I practically want to uh, demonstrate right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a problem in the looping, which uh, when I was doing la uh, yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. and I will understand a little bit. And I try my best to uh, do mm -hmm. here because of the both the sides. It's clock uh, if on the anti clock and the clock, and just reduce and then go ahead and then okay. advance. So when I, so, what have we got you to do, Vakar and myself? So what we've done principally is that we've got you to slow down. Yeah, yes, slow down. Slow so down. biggest learning point: slow down. slow down. Take your time. Small amount of insufflation and advance. Yeah. yeah? So the Three key points. Slow. Slow down, come less air. Yeah. And uh, less movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eric, come, come, go, go. <laughs> Good man, a little bit of air every now and again. Good. Little bit of air. Oh dear. Oh, up this ulcers. Now those type of ulcers, yeah. what do you think they could be caused by? Are they inflammatory bowel disease? There is a small chance. What else could be causing them? Mop. Bowel prep. Bowel prep. Apthous ulcers are not uncommon with uh, phosphor soda preps, which is what you use, a phosphor soda based prep. Blow. Advance. Blow and advance. Good. Go on. So it's unlikely that this is down to the prep. That one is, but that one doesn't look like it's prep. So you need some more air. Come on. Good. Follow the folds and up you go. Follow the folds and up you go. Up. That's off to the side. Oh, okay. good. Go on, commit. Good man. Clockwise talk. Stop, too much, anti-clockwise. So when I say right at the beginning it's slow down, that doesn't mean that. Okay. It means still that. Yeah, you'll have to. And tip down, slowly. 
come back. Now tip up. Anti-clockwise. Good man. Now come back because at the moment you're just wafting the scope around like it's a, you know, Harry Potter's wand. Ah, thank you. Thank you. So at the moment you're treating it like a wand. Yeah. Good. And we're still where we're at. Go on. Slow it down. Clockwise talk and slow it down. Good. Now you also actually thinking of my action, what I do now. Anti-clockwise. Slow. Way too quick. You're jumping. It's like jumping from that point to that point. Slow. Because then it enables you to make adjustments. So big wheel forward, but slow. You don't need to put your right hand on the scope. Now go forward. Go on. Slowly. Advance. Slowly advance. Slowly advance. Keep going. 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 Great stuff. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Draw back two centimeters. Now go back forward. How does that feel now, the scope? Yes. Okay? So it's underneath that fold. Can you see it? And it's skirting round. Stop blowing. Yes. Anti clockwise. Advance. Good. Advance. Slowly tip up. Slowly tip up. Stop. Clockwise talk. Clockwise talk. Slowly tip down. Slowly stop. Increase your clockwise torque. Tip down even more. And draw the scope back a centimetre. So when you're doing this, it's just to actually let the bowel relax. Now a little bit of air. And draw back the scope. You can see where the lumen is now. It's down at four o'clock. Increase your torque. Where's the girls? Gone, gone. scope down, allow the scope to come this way, allow it right, now tip up slowly tip up slowly that's down Let's see them and now let the clockwise torque slowly come in slowly, tip up keep that tip up because what you're doing is, you remember yesterday when I said you're playing the orchestra, you're playing the wonderful tune, but you're playing all the notes, but in the wrong order. At the present moment in time, you're playing all the right notes, but in the wrong order. Okay? What are you looking at this for? Right. What do we need to do? We have to draw back. Okay, we'll draw back then.
did we start? 3.30 we started? No. No, no it started 3.15. No. 3.15, I thought that. Advance. Advance. Tip up. You've got to keep that lumen central. You've seen the folds where they're actually going. Blow water, minimal clockwise torque. Advance. Advance. Minimal clockwise torque. at 15. Mm. You're doing good, but what do you need to do? What do you need to do? I think I have to change the position. Why? Actually, I think it might be uh, at the level of... Okay, let me show you, yep. and then I'll give you back the scope. There you go. You're here with the scope. Why is it opening for me? See it? So increase the clockwise torque. If it's stiff, you need more gel on the scope. Good man. Dr. Paul? Hello. Can you explain why was it not opening before when Dr. Because he wasn't putting any air in. Okay. He, he, was, was, he was swallowing your advice. So, well, I asked him to put a little bit in. Okay. He's a nice man, but he tends to do his own thing sometimes. <laughs> So what do you want to do? I just want to go to the one o'clock position. Okay. And so uh, what do you think is going to optimize it? You obviously yeah. haven't got the strength in the right hand to do it, to apply the torque. Yeah. You're finding this difficult to actually apply. So one way of applying 90 degrees of clockwise torque is... Okay. Yeah. On the bed. Good man. Did you keep hold of the scope? Excellent. Now, you've changed position. What do I get you to do when you've changed position? A little bit more, because you're still against the wall. Yeah. So, just to let the gut with you, uh, yeah. so optimize. continue to draw back. Yeah. But there's no air? A little bit of air. You need a little bit of air. Okay. Okay. Good. Now you can see where you want to go. Uh, I want to make it in the center. But if, I, if I am going the anti clock So what did I do then when you said that? I kept quiet. Yeah, I, I, I actually asked him from you. Oh, yeah, but if I'd have actually told you, you couldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't have worked it out for yourself. Okay, so you I worked it out. Yeah, you worked yeah, it out for yourself. Let me show you something. Yeah. Let go of the scope with the right hand. Yeah. Let go. Okay. Let go. Okay. That hand. Right. Put some gel on my fingers. Right. You don't need to worry about the gel. The gel itself is... See it? I've actually got hold of the scope. The gel is not about stopping you, gripping the scope. You hold those rags because it makes you feel comfortable. 
But what it does, it stops you feeling the scope. And you need to feel the scope. See what I'm doing? I can actually feel the scope. I can feel what it wants to do. Now, if I didn't have scope guide, I would definitely say you've got a loop. And that's why the scope feels the way it does. And you see how the scope has gone forward now? Let it come back. See how the scope has gone forward now? Let it come back. See how the scope is going forward now? Let it come back. See how the scope is going forward? Let it come back. Look at the gel all over my hand. Did I have one of those silly rags? No. Doesn't mean you. You can actually use your silly rag. But what I'm saying to you is, is to actually say with absolute def definity that this is what happens when you, if you don't use a rag. I've just proved to you that's not yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually the habit. And it is actually you know, it's, if that's what makes you feel comfortable. It's a bit like playing tennis. A lot of people, when they play tennis, will hold another ball or they'll have one you know, in their pocket. So when you play tennis, when you serve, if you don't have the other ball, it's like when I'm scoping, I like to hold a syringe. So a lot of guys, you know, when I'm scoping, I like to feel the syringe in my hand. So I'll hold it between my fingers. It's just the way I do things. Well, according to scope guide, we've definitely got a loop. But according to the patient, he's comfortable. Yes, I am. Okay. We just don't need a bag. We all body don't need our bed. So he's comfortable. Yeah. So the old algorithm is advance till you get discomfort, pain, or it's unsafe to do so. Advance till you get discomfort or pain, or it's unsafe to do so. But what I was showing you is, is go forward, come back. Go forward, not completely back, but go forward, come back. Go forward, come back. Go forward, come back. A little bit of air. Go forward, come back. Good. A little bit of air. Go forward, come back. Great stuff. Great stuff. Well done. Clockwise talk. Nice and slow. Everything is slow. So if I say clockwise talk, it doesn't mean clockwise talk. It means apply it slowly. So regardless what we say to you, Want it done slowly. Urdu, slowly? Slowly? What is slowly in Urdu? Slowly, halke, aista. Aista? Aista. 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 Good man. Yes. Good man. Good. Come back a little bit further. So we can tell that the bowel wall is under pressure. How? Uh, it's white. And when it goes white, why does it go white when we go against the wall? Why does the bowel wall, when we go against it, go white? Because of the pressure ischemia? So, if you know that, why are you are doing it? Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Now you can see where you want to go. Or have an idea where you want to go. So, if you come back a little bit further. Good. Now. Great. Well done. So. Suck. Suck. Stop. Now draw back the scope. Slowly. Now go forward. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So how's the patient? Good man, well done. What's he say? 
he's complaining of pain. Whenever we we have that complaint, I used to suck a few ml of You can't pain. suck because you're against the wall. No, no, no not at the time. When, when I was higher up, I will suck see if he's a little bit better. Right. So it's better to suck whenever you, uh, the patient can complain of pain. Take some of the air down. Take some of the air down. That's enough. Your tip has to be a lot higher. Now take the scope back, withdraw. Slowly withdraw. Slowly withdraw. Slowly withdraw. Slowly tip up. Slowly withdraw. Slowly. Keep coming back. 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 Now, anti-clockwise torque to turn the scope in down the lumen. Good. Slowly, with too much. Too much. Too much torque. Take the torque off. Yeah. That's it. Draw back. Keep drawing back. Keep drawing back. Keep drawing back. Keep drawing back. Nice and slow. Don't get pressured by the fact that I say keep drawing back. Okay, keep coming back. Nice and slow. Well done. Nice and slow. Well done. Nice and slow. Keep drawing back. Well done. Brilliant. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Now, just one suck. That's enough. Keep coming back. A little bit of air now. Keep coming back. Now, maintain that torque you've got on the scope. And can you see where the lumen is? Advance the scope. It's up as you got going in. Okay, you've actually coming back on yourself, so it's up. Twelve o'clock. Follow the tinea. Unless that's one of the biggest diverticular I've ever seen in my life, which I don't think it is. Good. Good man. Look at where the lumen is. Can you see? Is it six or is it ten? Is it? Nine, can you see? Normally I would ask you what actually made you think it was actually at six. Just because I say it's at nine, what makes you think it's at nine? Uh, I think that they can see the holes I can turn. What about that long stringy bit of motion? Okay, keep going towards that. Too much air, my friend. Doing good. Too much air. But doing that ain't any good either. That doing that isn't any good either. Mm -hmm. I have the habit of functioning at I'm not saying it's a bad habit, yeah. but what you did, you did did it twice and then you repeated it. Yeah. You know. So follow the lumen. Right, so let's have a little look for you. So you stand here. So how do you think that's gone so far? Uh, again, it's, uh, it's uh, a, a little bit tricky, actually. I doing what I have the best, you know, and 
But if I, I'm, I'm not satisfying why by doing what, whatever I am doing. But you know, and I am making my mind that what are the options whenever you are stuck up, what you do. So there are a few more things which I have learned. Right. Time. So what is it that you've learned? Learn, I, learn, I learned that you you, you uh, reduce or you withdraw your scope. Just wait, inflate a little, see the force, find out the lumen. If not, then you will talk on one side or the other, and uh, with a very slow motion, with very slow movement, you will be able to hold on that position for a while. You will get get the lumen because uh, the uh, the peristaltic activity sometimes with with they are actually uh, misguided. Me, I think it's not it's closed, but it's that open. So you have to wait. I think so. Right. So what's happening here is, is, is that it, the right side of the bowel, transverse, is actually overinsufflated. Okay. So subconsciously, even though you've been very mindful about how much air you put in, yeah. you've shut off this flexion. Okay. So what we've got no option but to do is to actually get the scope to want to go round and by getting it to want to go round you have to get it to the flexure and get it to come back and apply the torque now I'm sure if you look at the scope guide now you'll see a scope that's actually starting to look a bit more straight there so that's looking more straight now, I'm not a great fan of the scope guide but what I am a fan of is because of what we've just done, you were able to see on how I actually reduced what we had. And now we've gone round. And what we've gone round is the mid-transverse dip. And as we draw back with the scope, and see how much air there is. See how dilated the transverse colon was. See how much air okay. there was. So what you've got to do is be careful about how much air. Now, the air is put in because you don't know. Your finger hovers above this. It only has to touch the glove. Your finger doesn't have to come in contact with the button. It only has to hover just above. The glove uh, only has to touch the button and cover the hole. And as a result of that, you end up... Subconsciously... That air your, your finger hovers okay. and because it hovers that is enough to put air in okay. right. now anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise all I've done all the way through there is just put the torque on and off yes. now I'm just blowing water blowing lots of water. I'm not blowing air at all. Right? So, if we were to believe scope guide, scope guide would say, you're in the cecum. That's what that's saying. But what haven't we seen? And that's the problem with relying on technology. So a lot of people see that question mark shape. And they'll say, I am in the cecum. You are not in the cecum. And come back with the scope. So, as I've said before, Syringe, don't put the syringe in this way. Put it in that way, you trap your finger. Rotate the syringe, put it in this way. Okay. As I said about tennis players, I like to feel the syringe in the hand. You need more water? Not yet. Okay. I like to feel the syringe so you can see it. Now normally what happens is the guys don't like to see you doing that. So back at my hospital, as soon as they see it, that I've got the, the syringe in my hand like that, they'll whip it out. Look, he's doing it.
No. What are we looking for? See there? That could be the appendix. Could be. If it is, bow well, and arrow would suggest that the IC valve is at 12. Low water. Thank you. He gets upset if I don't give it him back. What? He gets upset if I don't give it him back. The syringe. My well, friend, can you go back onto your left for me? To approach the sickle, the left leg will be best. What it is, is to change where the stool is. Not for getting in, no, it's actually disadvantageous for the IC valve, but what is it these is... These areas are normal? It's yeah. It's carrying, uh, there is, what That's the IC valve just there. I'm trying to get in and I've rogered the blooming thing. How's he doing? Hey, fine. Oh, I'm struggling to get in. Isn't it?
Go in, you cop. No, it is. That's the right area. No, I'm not in. How many legal trials you will do? I'm going to try once more, and that's where it is. You can see where it is, right there. Look. You okay? Yes. So, what's his history? His history is uh, constipation. No, not opening. One more go. Hello. Hello. Uh, Dr. Paul, would you like to try the forcep technique? No. Nope. Why? Any specific? Because I'll be going blind. <laughs> and I don't like to go blind. I can see where it wants to go. Okay. If it doesn't accept the scope, there is a reason why it doesn't accept the scope. Just blow some water down there, my friend. Yeah. Water. Water, water. Water, water. Yeah. Please. Right, that's correct. Right, forceps now, my friend. Because that's. Forceps? Yeah, because of biopsy, it's a little bit red.
thing that I hate is looking around, because when I look around, the scope moves. And when the scope moves, then I can't see where it's, if it drops back. It's flaming warm in here, lads. to admit defeat. Well, how about trying to intubate the appendix for the last 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Normal. Man. No pictures. <laughs> That's the appendix. I've been trying to get in there for the last ten yeah. minutes. just a fold before. Right, my friend, so I'm just looking at the time. So we've been in, we've seen that it's normal. We need to take some sigmoid biopsies or retosigmoid biopsies. So when we come back, but other than that, everything's normal, yeah? What we've seen on the way in. Keep coming. Keep coming now, slowly, anti-clockwise. Come back. Come back. Come back. That's it. Now, slowly, anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. That's the fold you want to go in. Okay. Might as well just take the tube out, my boss, and we'll take the biopsies in the sigmoid. Yeah, we need to take biopsies in the sigmoid. But have a good look on the way back. Oh, I'll have a drink. Hot. Get irritated with yourself. How many? More? One more. 
One more. Six more. Just stop there, go back in, slowly. That's fine. It's just that I thought we saw a little bit of heme, but we didn't. Come back. Yeah, there. So that's where you've been sucking. Can you see the little suction artifacts? That's when you've got the mucosa and you've sucked on it and you've given her a great big love bite. Mm. No more pictures. Ooh. Have they finished? One more there. Seven more here. One plus one. Two. Six. Keep coming. We want to get to where the aphthous ulcers are. Let's have a look at them now. Now we've got a bit of air in. Now they could be down to the bowel prep. That's the most important thing. The last thing we want to do, so I'll just let Eric know that we've considered taking biopsies, but the last thing I want to do is take biopsies from an area where we might put aphthous ulcers and it gets people all alarmed. Is it bowel prep related? So keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good man. Right, let's have a look. Now that is bowel prep related. Keep coming. Bit more air. Clockwise talk so we can see what you're looking at. Good. So what are the findings? Normal? Normal to TI. Even though I've been doing a, trying to get into his appendix for the last five minutes. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's caused by a bit of stress on the scope. Okay, so now you could consider retroverting. What are you going to do first? Mm. What are you going to do when you're going to do the retroversion? So that's aphthous from the prep. So what are you going to do? No. What are you going to do? No. What are you going to do? <laughs> Good man. Now you can do all that stuff you were saying. <laughs> Good, so big wheel back and now small wheel will reach across and big wheel and little wheel all the way back. Advance the scope, advance the scope, clockwise torque, 
advance the scope. So you can see what's causing his bleeding problem. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's it. Undo the J, take some air down, take the scope out. No. Sapthus is from the bowel prep. Keep the suction on. Good man. Keep the suction on. Good man. Keep the suction on. Hello. Good man. Dr. Paul. Keep the suction on. Good man. You need. Hello.